Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alice and I am an incoming PA student here at the University of Iowa. And today I actually just moved into the room at my house. It is August 2nd today and my orientation or the first half of my orientation is on August 5th. So for the University of Iowa PA program, it's combined with the medical school's um, program. So that's why we have two orientations. So the first orientation, which is just from August 5th to 6th, is only PA students. And then the one next week from the 9th to the 13th, I believe, is with the medical students as well. But yeah, I'm really excited to share this journey with you um i don't know how much i'll be vlogging to be honest none of my roommates or like classmates know that i have a youtube channel and i don't really want it to be like public knowledge so um i don't want to make it like obvious that i'm filming and obviously i don't want to uh, film them without their permission or like our house without their permission so most of this filming will probably be done in my room or i'll just do like close-ups of my breakfast and like my routine and stuff like that um i have a few days before school starts i just wanted to get kind of acclimated to my room and like my new house um, i'll also be riding like public transportation because um the parking at iowa is supposed to be really bad and also i shared a car with my sister during undergrad and She's taking it now to her new job in Texas. So yeah, I don't have a car. So my only option is public transportation. But yeah, I just wanted to pop in here and give a like brief intro. I don't know how much of the actual orientation that I'll be able to film, but uh, my white coat ceremony is on the 5th, like right after um, our orientation. So I think I'll have a lot of footage from that because I'm making my sister like record it from her seat and it's like normal to record a white coat ceremony so hi guys so it's actually the next day um august 3rd and i just got an email from my program about uh, my financial aid and like how my bills are available to be paid so i thought i might just talk a little bit about um, how much PA school is costing me. Okay, so I'm just looking at my expenses now. My annual tuition fee is $23,197. And we have a fall, spring, and summer semester with the fall and spring being $9,000 and the summer being $5,000. I don't know how I got um, this grant, but I got $4,500 uh, with the physician assistant grant. So that made my whole tuition to be about $1,800. And that's how much I'm taking out in loans as well because I'm lucky enough to have my parents help me pay for some of my living expenses. But they have a really nice um, column on the side that is a chart about the estimated expenses that um, some students need to plan for. That includes housing and meals, books, supplies, personal fees, transportation, and loan fees. And that was estimated to be around $28,000 for me. But yeah, I'm really lucky to be from Iowa, which is not something you hear every day, but um, it really drove down my tuition fee because I'm getting in-state tuition. Uh, I was accepted to another out-of-state school before I got off the waitlist for Iowa and that school was also a private school so tuition was like more than double this. Iowa is a really great program of course but I also chose it because it was so much cheaper than all my other options. I also got an email today about how I had to do this little like module for my program. I think like all students have to do it. I don't know where to find it. Let me look at my email. Yeah, so it's the Online Sexual Misconduct Prevention Education Program for all new University of Iowa students. So it's just something I have to do by August 23rd. And I feel like I had to do stuff like this for undergrad too. But it's supposed to take around an hour. And yeah, it's like a thing where you just watch videos and then you have to like take a test on it and receive like high enough score. So I'll be doing that, I think. This will be the only update before my actual orientation. So I'll see you guys then. It's 
sunnier than most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. And if you take the wrong way, then maybe you should stay instead of turning around. So, but you keep on going. I know. I'm back now from orientation and I feel like we didn't really do much all day but I feel so tired. I think it's because I wasn't used to socializing because of COVID and then today I was like thrown in a room with people that I've never talked to before and then I had to socialize so that was draining. I just wanted to give you a quick update about how my day went I guess. So I woke up at 6 30 because I wanted to have enough time to go out and like find the bus stop and ride the bus since I haven't done that before in this area and good thing that we went early because they randomly changed bus stop sign um around the area on Monday so Google Maps told us to go to a certain place but then we saw someone standing like higher up on the road so we just went up there and we talked to them and yeah it was all good we figured it out but it was good that we gave ourselves ample time to figure it out so we got on uh, the bus at around i want to say like 7 50 almost 8 and we got to the atrium where we were supposed to meet at 809 so Maybe it was 7.50. I think it was 7.50 because the bus ride wasn't that short. And there there was like breakfast provided and we just like had the normal check-in. And everything today was just like introductory stuff. Um, we got like a welcome by the executive dean. And then the faculty all introduced themselves and then we had to introduce ourselves again. And then they gave us like a few reminders about financial aid and paying or loans or like applying for more loans but i think i'm good on that i already paid for buying so yeah and then after that um we got our new ids i'll show you what mine looks like i definitely lowered my standards for what a good id looks like because my license picture is just atrocious there it is <laughs> My smile looks so awkward, but it's better than what it could have been. So I'm not mad. Yeah, I got blisters on my feet for wearing like heels and I don't wear heels often. So maybe that's why. But tomorrow is just this casual. So I'm going to wear sneakers. <laughs> yeah, but after we got that badge, we got a little tour of um the building and like the medical education center or whatever so after we did the id badging and the tour we went over the routine or like how we were going to sit in the ceremony and like the order that we had to walk and stuff and then after that we had lunch with current students and um it was about how to balance relationships in pa school so it was centered on people who were like engaged married or have significant others and it was really interesting to hear them talk about what married life was like while they were in school and then after that was our white coat ceremony that was sweet. and my family came for that and it was really nice to see them even though i saw them on monday but yeah we got a speech from the student president, like the PA student president, and then there was a speech given by um, a PA student that had graduated in 2012. So I guess he's a practicing PA now, not a PA student. But they also sorted us into our learning community today, or at least they would like assign us one and let us know which one it was. And I got sorted into flock. I don't really know what that means, but and this is combined with the med students as well. We ended like a little bit earlier than it said on the schedule. On the schedule said that we would end at four, but we finished at like 3.30 and we were like eating dessert because they gave us like a dessert reception. 
at the end of the ceremony and after we took all of our pictures. The dessert was really good. It was so much better than my undergrad catering. Say hi to my vlog. Hi. Tomorrow also looks like a lot more technical stuff. It's like talking about our handbook and program form. So I'm not sure how much I need to update you on that. Today was really tiring, but I think it was a necessary break from me just like sitting alone in my room the whole time because it was nice to like be around people and to meet all my classmates. Uh, we had a couple of Zoom sessions. I didn't really go to them because um, it was a really small class, so I didn't want to show up and not have any like specific questions to ask. So seeing everyone in person today, like it was a little bit overwhelming, but I think that it was fun in the end. And I'm looking forward to making more friends and just getting to know my class better. Good morning. Uh, my roommate and I are trying to see the fastest way to get to Murph. So she's going to a different bus stop today. And I'm just walking to my old one and I'm timing it, so. Hi guys, sorry for the late update because it's actually Saturday now um, but I was so tired after my orientation yesterday and I also went kayaking so I just like came home from kayaking, showered, ate dinner and just went straight to the bed but I just wanted to talk a little bit more about my day yesterday so it was a pretty short day um, we actually had check-in at 8.45, but I thought everything was the same time as um, on Thursday. So we showed up really early. We showed up at like 8.09 and um, the program directors were still setting breakfast up and everything. And I was like, oops. Um, but yeah, I guess better early than late, right? Yeah, it was just really dry yesterday because we just went over the handbook. Uh, we signed a bunch of forms saying that um, will allow drug testing for like clinical sites. Um, what other stuff did we have to sign? Like um, we allowed the college to post pictures of us, just like technical things. And then we had a lot more social time yesterday. There was a longer break. So I got to talk to a lot more of my classmates. And then for lunch, we got pizza from Papa John's. And during lunch, um, a member of the Iowa Physician Assistance Society came in and just talked about why we should join um, the regulations of PAs in Iowa and just like policies in place that will affect us and how we can make a difference as students towards the PA profession. So that was cool to hear about because I guess I never really thought about practicing as a PA even though it's coming up in two and a half years. I've just been really worried about getting in and um, getting through school. Yeah, we were also assigned advisors and we just did like a group meeting with them. Each advisor had about five or six advisees and uh, we just like went into a classroom and just talked about any questions we had concerning the curriculum, um, the Iowa City area, like where to get groceries, which restaurants to go to, just really simple stuff like that. Yeah, it was, a lot of information all at once but i feel like it was all necessary information uh, and i was overwhelmed after the first day of orientation but i feel like it's definitely gotten a lot better like i've digested the information um i still have to do a bunch of modules before my other orientation next week so i've just been doing that today i don't know how much of next week i'll be vlogging but since this um, orientation was PA specific, I wanted to make a video about that more because next week it's with the MD. So it's like gonna be such a big group. But since I've already been to the building and met a couple of people, I'm not as nervous. So that's good. I'll try to update my channel as much as I can. I really want to share more of my experiences with you. I just don't know how interesting it'll be because I feel like it's 
I mean, it sounds like all I'll be doing is studying and I don't know how many videos of me just like watching videos and taking notes you can take. So um, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. If you have any requests, then I guess just let me know in the comments. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! It's sunny at the most days You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way